Well, International Men's Day, men being encouraged to get in touch with their emotions and acknowledge that men cry too. But how easy is it for men to cry? For fear of judgment and people taking the mickey out of them. Social constructs. Men have to be strong, don't they? Sorry, that was me going off on one there. Dr. Rakish Rana used to be a stiff upper lip kind of guy. Uh, not only is he a life coach now, but he's a crier. Oh, for goodness sake, doctor. <laughs> Hello, <Eddie. laughs> How are you? Great to speak to you. How have you been? I'm very well, thank you. Very well. Enjoying enjoying the year, actually. No, you know, how can anybody enjoy 2020? It's an absolute disaster of a year. It's about how we reframe our thinking and using it for opportunities that might not have presented themselves otherwise, I think. Zoom. Zoom, you take my <laughs> life away. Yeah, yeah. No, sorry, sorry. <clears throat> Good. Yeah. Now, t- tell me about your family upbringing then, because I'm guessing from your name that you, you're Asian. Of course, yeah. So, you know, second generation in, uh, Indian, um, eldest of four siblings and quite a lot of cousins as well. So growing up, it was pretty much, yeah, you don't cry. You know, as a kid, you, you know, back in the 70s, you know, you might have got a little tobacco around the ear. You'd cry, but then you'd soon be told to be, you know, shut up, be quiet, you know, stop being a baby. And you kind of, that's the, that's the upbringing. You don't cry. You just get on with it. And uh, never really saw my parents cry. I probably saw my pa- uh, father cry once, I think. Um and you you just didn't do it. And, you know, as you get older, uh, the social norms, TV, whatever, media, you know, men are strong. Men don't cry. Men are, you know, as you've been saying, you know, it's not something we do. It's the social construct that we've grown up with. Men don't cry. And why is it? Why? Why is that not OK? Why? Why is that a problem? It's the, the reason it's not. <laughs> well, the reason it's a problem is. What happens is, I mean, th- this is my own uh, experience and experience of others as well. We're holding back these emotions. Um, we hold these emotions back. It causes additional stress, additional anxiety, uh, which only impacts our mental health. It's different hormones, hormonal imbalance. And what you find is that you gen- generally just start feeling unwell, holding on to that stress. You see, is it a social construct or is it? estrogen and in a in a I mean, i'm going to push the button on purpose here mm. and just the way we are that we muddle our way through things clumsily avoid things that make us feel uncomfortable wanting to leave the house and just mm-hmm. for, have our right and calm ourselves down anger men do anger really easily don't we Generally, I mean, we're doing broad, we're doing broad strokes here, right? Just in case anybody gets themselves upset, we are doing broad. We do anger really easily, but again, that that anger comes easily because of what we've been conditioned to. We've seen movies. You see, you know, anger, men playing out. It's what we've observed growing up. It's it again. It's social construct. If it no, was but, no, but no, no, hold on a minute. It might, it might be nature. It might there be. Is. Nate, it might just be, nobody's told me necessarily how to behave. I'm confused, I don't know, and I lash, I'm I'm not talking about me personally, because I'm much more cultured than that, but you understand what I mean. Yeah, yeah, no, I get you, I get you. We, it's about controlling our emotions, it's about understanding the emotions that we're going through, and a lot of the times, we haven't had that upbringing of being able to label the emotions that we're going through. We, we're not even, there are so many different emotions, but actually all the only ones that we tend to recognize are anger, uh, happiness, fear, a very few emotions that we can really label, but actually we go through so many. And there's a lot of frustration when it comes to emotion. Do you not, so do you not, do you, do you not, I, I can only do it, right? I can't pretend mm. to do it. I can't half do it. No, but do you are not you worried about, are you, like you, no, but aren't you worried about what people will feel about you if you, cry um it well at the time and i guess what i've learned is previously i would have suppressed it and i do know many people do where they want to cry but they don't because actually that's their upbringing it's the conditioning again and they hold it back that's okay if that's what they want to do but in the long term 
there's been studies to show that actually it's not healthy for you. The healthy option is to release it, but releasing tears is beneficial for you. It's a, it's a soothing effect. What about the uh, anguish that you go through before you... Before, because can I cry in front of her? Can I trust him? Uh, what's it going to be? Am I going to be mocked because I've done it? Will people? But is it a sign that I'm weak when I've been told all my life that men are strong? I'm confused, doctor. Help me yes. understand. They go through that. So again, with my clients, I guess I've had periods where we all have been going through a session. It gets quite emotive, and I can see that they're on that verge of crying. However, you never I cried in front of a patient. I don't, but my pay, plenty of my clients have. No, no, that's not, and you see, no, because there is there is a, a kind of um, a professional way of dealing with it. And if you cried in front of a patient, it would seem as though you were losing control, wouldn't it? Yeah, but there but there isn't an opportunity for me to cry because it's about them. Okay. So that I wouldn't be in a position fair, where I would point. be crying, essentially, because I, it's not about me, it's about them. And when they're crying, I allow them to cry. It provides a safe space. And when I don't judge, and if, if all I'm saying is when they're about to cry is, it's okay, they do it, they feel reassured. Yes, they have that initial embarrassment. Yes, they don't want to do it. But when I assure them that it's okay and it's a natural response they're relieved they're actually so grateful for it afterwards i'm on a journey here you need to i'll catch you up one day rakish but i'm on a journey okay god bless you and thank you very much look after yourself and fingers crossed we'll talk soon it's been